Zepbound is a new weight management medication used during obesity to promote weight loss. It mimics hormones naturally produced in our intestines, which decrease appetite. Additionally, it slows gastric emptying, making a person feel fuller for longer. Consequently, this reduces the urge to eat and cravings. Zepbound is significant because it has demonstrated high effectiveness in meta-analyses. People taking Zepbound experienced an average body weight reduction of 22%, which is considered a very high rate of weight loss. It is a newly FDA-approved drug and is the first dual incretin agonist, meaning it resembles or mimics the body's natural hormones and enhances their action. This drug is administered as a weekly injection. Now, let's discuss how it works in the body and its main limitations. Zepbound, terzepatide, mimics two incretin hormones, which are released in our gut in response to food intake. Specifically, Zepbound resembles glucagon-like peptid 1, GLP-1, and glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptid, GIP. This means Zepbound binds to the natural hormone receptors and activates them. Its first action is to stimulate insulin secretion. Both hormones induce insulin secretion from the pancreas, thus, Zepbound prompts the pancreas to release insulin in response to glucose presence in the blood. Regarding appetite and food intake, GLP-1 slows down gastric emptying, leading to prolonged satiety and a reduction in overall calorie intake. In terms of lipolysis, both GIP and GLP-1 stimulate the breakdown of fats in the liver and muscles, meaning the body uses them for energy, thus accelerating weight loss. This process also increases energy expenditure or metabolic rate, causing more calories to be burned. Furthermore, these hormones inhibit glucagon secretion, meaning the liver releases less glucose into the bloodstream, resulting in fewer blood sugar spikes. This is because glucagon stimulates glucose production from glycogen by the liver. Additionally, GLP-1 increases the production of glucose transporter proteins, facilitating glucose uptake by cells. The primary indication for Zepbound is obesity, specifically when the body mass index, BMI, is more than 40. It is also indicated for those with a BMI of 35 or higher accompanied by comorbidities such as diabetes hypertension, and cardiovascular diseases, as well as for individuals with type 2 diabetes. The most significant limitation of the drug is its cost, as it is expensive. There is also limited data on its long-term safety. Being a new drug, there isn't sufficient information regarding its long-term effects in various cases. The main side effects of Zepbound include abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, or constipation, and sometimes nausea. Although these side effects are temporary and usually mild, they are noteworthy. Zepbound is contraindicated in cases of a history of pancreatitis or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome, as it can stimulate pancreatic enzymes and potentially exacerbate inflammation. It may also promote the growth of tumors, which is why it is contraindicated in these situations. It is important to note, however, that there is no evidence suggesting that Zepbound increases the risk of any cancer. But, as previously mentioned, the long-term results are not yet known due to the drug's novelty.